Hello everyone. Today I'm sharing nine clothing items that I think are tacky that you should trash ASAP. Just kidding. Let's not trash them. Let's donate. And honestly, this video was inspired by a recent shopping trip. I went shopping. Shocking, I know. But I was just considerably confused at the, the clothing items that I kept running into. And, and I was, uh, it was surprising that uh, people were buying these items. And so I decided to buy them too. And I did not cut off any of the tags because everything is going back. But I still thought these could be things I could share with you on, as to what, what I personally think is tacky. And if you have similar items, you could then maybe consider donating them to the people that obviously really like this stuff. I, I don't know. Also, I must preface it. This is just all in good fun, okay? This is just take this with a grain of salt. This is for entertainment purposes. It's also true. Number one, it's what I'm wearing. It's the first tacky piece of clothing that at first glance is not that bad. It's just like, ooh, a nice florally tank top. <laughs> And then I turn to the side, whoa, it's just really droopy. I think any shirt or tank top that's super droopy along the sides where you're gonna see like your sports bra peeking out or ah, let's just see here, what's peeking out? Whoa, that sticky booby thing that I wear all the time that's just not good. So basically you have to show your bra or show your sticky thing or just just show yourself you know the side boob things is apparently in i don't know i don't i don't personally love it but yeah this is i bought it and it's going back and i also want to point out it has like those raw edges which to me is also kind of a trendy thing but it just looks it just looks cheap tacky okay so i'm out of that tank top onto the next one honestly i feel much more comfortable in this one <laughs> less revealing anyway this one not so good for a couple reasons too. Uh, tie-dye. Now I waver with tie-dye. Last year I was obsessed. Now this year I'm, mm, I don't know. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. This is an example of why, what I don't like. It's when it's extreme contrasting of the colors. We've got really light white, some light blue, super dark blue, black. Like it's just a little too contrasted, but really what drew me to the shirt to buy it, to say not to buy it, uh, is just the, the cutouts. I feel like shirts with crisscrossy cutouts, holes in them, even even though there it's it's like a design ele element i i just think I think it just looks tacky. Comment down below. I wanna hear all of your opinions on this. Comment down below. So this one just kind of saddens me because I actually did buy it with the intent of liking it, but it just goes along with my last point and I just can't, I can't wear this. I, it just looks weird to me. It's another cutout and an odd spot also. Um, but this is from Abercrombie & Fitch. I really like this store. If you're wondering where all of these clothes are from, I don't discriminate on this channel. We've got stuff from Target. We've got stuff from Kohl's, Abercrombie & Fitch, Express, like literally, you can find bad stuff everywhere. But back to this shirt, it is, it's it's a great material. I love Abercrombie & Fitch. Uh, I just think that this particular style is weird. I think it's going to look very dated very soon. Not to mention, tacky. Word of the day is tacky. Every time you hear the word tacky, you should consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so I know I keep saying that I purchased all these clothes to put in this video, but this one, oh man, I've been saving up this shirt for this video for so long. This was sent to me. It's from somebody on Amazon, I don't know. Uh, and as soon as I got it, I was like, this is going in a video, but a bad video. This is jewelry, loud jewelry, plastic jewelry. That is bad, it's just bad. It's like, it's like flimsy, bad, shiny fake looking jewelry on a shirt. If you have jewelry on your shirts, on anything that's clothing, it might look tacky and you might jingle around as you're wearing it. So with that said, I apologize if you guys, if, if there's any Amazon buyers out there that send me things, um, sometimes it doesn't work out. <laughs> and here we are, much better. So see, still a top with broad shoulders, just no jewelry, see how that works there. Anyway, um, let's move on to the next tacky mistake that we all make, uh, it's crazy patterned leggings. And I understand why this happens. It happens to me. We all have so many leggings. We just, you know, we, we, we have the black, a lot of them. And we're like, you know what? Let's have some selection. Let's diversify our collection. So we buy some crazy patterns and it just doesn't work out because it just is not flattering. There's too many colors going on, too many patterns. And I just think more often than not, it just wavers on that tacky line. And there I go, trying these on for you. Look at me jump around like I belong in Cirque du Soleil. And see, that's the thing. That's the thing. I feel like these belong in a circus. You know what? Just for the heck of it, <laughs> I thought I would share with you what's really going on down here, you know, because uh, us YouTubers were constantly trying clothes on and off, on and off. I get really lazy. I do get very lazy. I like to cut corners. Yes, I am not a perfectionist. So a few scenes back, I was just wearing my underwear, but you didn't know. Uh, but right now, I've just got my bodysuit over top my jeans. 
Okay, speaking of jeans, we do need to talk about jeans though. I have two specific examples of tacky jeans that you can consider. First being skinny jeans with extreme distressing up and down the leg, so much so that they decide to add patches behind the holes on your leg. I just don't think it looks good. I'm not against skinny jeans. I love skinny jeans. Wear them. You can even have some distressing. That's fine. I, I mean, I, I do that too, but it's, it's the extreme distressing down the leg, especially with contrasting jean patches. Mm -mm. This next jean is truly shocking to me. I've mentioned it in prior videos. Half of it was a joke because I didn't think you could actually still buy it. The other half was like, no, people still have this in their closet. This is a perfect thing to donate because it's so out of style, you know? Yeah, but still, it's out there, guys. You can still purchase it. It's the jeans with the white stitching and the gems on the butt. Yeah, they're still out there. Th these were popular in 2005. I don't understand. I think that maybe I'm just, a lot of these things, I guess I'm just wrong because obviously these stores are smart. They're there to make a profit. They wouldn't be selling this stuff if people weren't buying it. So I'm still here to say, I think that we're, we're past the jeans with the white stitching and the gems on the butt. Next up, we have this skirt, which at first glance, it looks really nice. Heck, I bought it. This, uh, this is another one of those purchases I bought with the intent to wear. I thought this would look cute with like a, a little sweatshirt. Maybe I could go golfing in it. I've been golfing lately. Um, and then I put it on and then it became tacky. It's so darn short. It's even a skort to be like, yeah, it's a skort, guys, yeah. So you just flip it up here, woo, it's okay. You're not gonna really reveal anything, so that is a pro, that's a pro to this. I still think any skirt that is just too darn short looks tacky. Okay, guys, we're on to the, the most controversial one yet. Yeah. It's a romper. <laughs> I know, it's, I, it's, I feel like all the other ones, I had a really good argument. Like you probably agreed with me, maybe on some of them. This one, you probably all just completely disagree with me. And I don't know what it is about rompers because I have a few of them myself. Every time I like put one on, I feel weird in them. I think it's also when I go to the bathroom, it's like I literally have to remove everything or I can just like pull it to the side. That's, that, that could get messy. Um, but this one, okay, so it doesn't look terrible not ideal with the tag. There's like a fake little flap here. I feel like I look like a clown. So many are gonna disagree with this. I just think it looks kind of clowny. It's like, there's like, it's like a one piece thing all connected with pants. It like, it makes you look all, all elongated and kind of like more flattering. This it's like short, a little stumpy, kind of clown like. It doesn't help that it's polka dotted. That's not another thing that I don't love. I wanted to end with this because I feel like it's the most controversial. Again, I'm curious what your opinions are. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it mildly entertaining. Um, if you did, consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!